Shalom, 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 all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, which is to say in the Paleo-Hebrew, Yahweh, which is the name of our Heavenly Father, meaning He is, Bahashim, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, meaning He is our salvation, to the so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans here in the Western Hemisphere, and to the rest scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth who look like the other nations, but through the patrilineal lineage go back to the Hebrew Israelites. Shalom. All right. And uh, what more can you say? Okay. You've seen it. All right. A lawless society is fastly approaching. A lawless society is fastly approaching. Okay. We are basically holding on to the last pieces of fabric of this society before utter chaos ensues, okay? And you've seen that video. It speaks for itself, all right? And that man, you know, he knew that woman, okay? He knew that woman, all right? Making it all the more, you know, uh, shocking that, hey, when this place actually collapsed, those individuals that you thought that you've been knowing for years and close friends with, things are things are going to change drastically, okay? When there's no more, you know, uh, nine, you know, what, what to call, and there's nobody's coming to, you know, your aid or rescue, it's going to be... Like we've been telling you, a dog eat dog world out there, all right? And unless you have this hedge, hey, not only women, but men gonna get it too, okay? But in this particular incident, we seen the, you know, carnage that took place, okay? 
The man lassoed the individual, proceeded to, you know, drag that individual in between those vehicles where he, you know, followed with, you know, as the uh, clip said, to proceed, you know, engaging in some lasci uh, lascivious acts, okay? Lascivious acts, all right? So expect this is this is expect this to be the norm okay expect this to be the norm all right now you we read it said five percent increase you know since uh prior this year alone in nyc okay and nyc is a city that never sleeps all right that's why that was able to take place at 3 a.m but you have other cities you know major cities throughout the you know, throughout the land, throughout the country, and throughout the world for that matter, okay? So, hey, once Babylon, you know, starts to crumble and starts to implode and the fabric of this society is compromised where, you know, the infrastructure is, you know, uh, pretty much compromised, meaning, you know, the numbers that you dial for assistance, you will no longer be able to dial to get any assistance in these type of uh, scenarios. Hey, it ain't going to be a time to be laughing and joking, man. That's why we tell you the Murph is getting ready to leave up out of this place. OK, you strong, independent. I can do it all by myself. Hey, you're going to be you're going to be able to get put to the test. OK, you want to wear the pants? We're going to see just exactly how good you're going to wear them in those days. All right. This is Proverbs 20, 9 and 18. It says, where there is no vision, the people perish. OK. And this is a land with no vision. What is that vision? You know, a, a vision that set up a righteousness. OK. This land was built on wickedness and this rearing its face in these last days. OK. Leading up into Jacob's trouble when you're going to be able to see it in its fullness. OK, it says where there is no vision, the people perish, but he that keepeth the law, happy is he. OK, and that's why we try to tell you to keep this, you know, keep the law, statute, commandments to the best of your ability. OK, to the best. All right, because you're going to need everything working for you. All right especially you you females you women okay if you don't have a hedge you know which is a man particular of the elect it's gonna be hell for you to pay out there all right it's going to be hell you're going to be targeted all right we don't come across this type of you know footage you know that we can uh do a lesson and you know warn you but when we do we bring it out because you're not going to get too many warnings okay you want to be promiscuous you know do your uh social media only you know what your of and other things you want to put yourself out there on the gram on all these other sites be prepared okay be prepared. You're going to be you're going to be shocked and surprised when this society crumbles and those that you thought your friends that were close to you, but in actuality was just keeping a close tab on you for this particular moment. You're going to be surprised. OK, you're going to be surprised. All right. And you're not going to have no one to run to. All right. Especially if you don't have a male figure in your life, whether it's your father, your uncle, your brother, you know, outside of that, it's a toss up. OK, because those male figures that you think are your friends, you're going to see. OK, when the when the the A button, the numbers that you call to get assistance is no longer in service, you're going to see. All right. And like I said, this individual knew, you know, that person that lasso her. OK. So, hey, it's real, man. The Murph is getting ready to seep, you know, it's getting ready to be shut off in Babylon the Great. OK, when it hits, 
and this place has never been, you know, hit like this before, it's going to have a profound impact on the individuals who are not ready. Okay? Who are not ready. And we know, you know, through the power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, that that's majority of our people. They're not ready for what's coming. Okay? They're not going to be ready. All right? <clears throat> this is Isaiah 33 and verse 6. It says, In wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. Right. And we getting as much treasure as we can while we can. Okay. Because we're going to need everything and every bit of the fear of Yahweh when all hell breaks loose. We're going to need his treasure. We're going to need his hedge, his protection. All right. So it says in wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Right. Not having the right names to call on. You know, you gonna, it's going to pay. Okay. Wanting to call on Christ. You know, God. Okay. It's going to pay. Okay. It's going to pay. We're going to see whether or not that false idol that you've been calling on is going to show up in that time of your needs. Okay. We're going to see if JC is going to show up when you call him. Okay. We're going to see. It's going to be put to the test. All right. When you see yourself in a situation like that and you're trying to call on JC, we're going to uh, see if he shows up. Because one, you're already behind the proverbial eight ball by being out and about by yourself without being accompanied by a man. OK, so JC is already behind the eight ball and seeing as much as he can do for you. OK, because not having this wisdom and knowledge is going to further put you in more dire straits and situations such as this. OK, because the scriptures tell us Isaiah 32 that what a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a cover from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land right so all you independent you know what you know hey it's going to be put to the test all right it's going to be put to the test all right and also for you proud, okay? Because you proud individuals as well, both men and women, you know, that's that don't believe, all right? It's going to be put to the test. Your lack of faith is going to be put to the test, okay? Because you don't believe in the names and some don't even believe in the Bible, okay? In the word. So it's going to be put to test. <laughs> and the time that you could have had to build up your faith, you denied it, okay? You rejected the names and it's going to be too late. OK, you atheists are you non-believers, whatever you want to call yourself. When these prophecies come to pass and they will come to pass, you're going to be you're going to be stuck with mud on your face. OK, say the least. You're not going to have the proper names to call on. All you're going to be able to revert back to is your upbringings as a child. And you're going to remember, oh, I remember Jesus Christ. That's going to be the wrong name to call on. So sorry. <laughs> so sorry, not this time. And you had all the time in the world to get it together. But while you was worrying about, you know, living it up in these last days in Babylon, the great, hey, evil was preparing. <clears throat> evil was preparing itself for you. Okay. Esau, Edom was getting everything together allowing his society to implode on itself so that he could bring about his next phase, okay? It's all working hand in hand. <clears throat> the Most High is using this devil, okay? And while you stuck up with this notion of partying it up like it's 1999 because, you know, Esau Edom lifted the mandates that he had put in place back in 2020, 2021, you forgot everything, okay? You went back into your 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 uh, unconscious state. 
you fell asleep. Okay? You fell asleep. And it tells us that in Romans uh, 13. Now, it, <clears throat> let's just go there and read it. This is Romans 13. In verse 11, it says, In that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. But what did you do? You went and fell back to sleep, okay? You fell back asleep once, you know, this man allowed you to go back to having some type of resemblance of how you lived prior to 2020. You fell back asleep. You may have prior to that, you know, was trying to, you know, uh, involve yourself with the word, watch videos. But after he left that band, you went back into being a ninja. OK, so now you back asleep. All right. Along with the rest of your, you know, uh, sheep of that fold. OK, that have been rocked and lured back to sleep by giving you a little bit of what you believe is freedom. OK, but what did we read? Where there's no vision, the people perish, okay? There's no vision here in Babylon the Great, all right? It's only an illusion. You believe through, you know, their false religions that you got some type of resemblance of, you know, righteousness here, but it's all an illusion. This place was built on lies, man. And it's rearing its, it's, rearing its face in these last days, okay? Romans 13, 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. S-H-T-F. Shit's about to hit the fan, man. This is this is just a microcosm. It's much more to come that you can't even imagine. OK, that was just a visual, just a little glimpse into what is going to you know take place. Shit's really about to get, you know. Bananas out here, man. And you, Jake, you want to still play like you got another two, three hundred years. Like this ain't coming. All right. And you women, we already know what's good, you know, pertaining to you. Okay. And your haughtiness, your proudfulness. Okay. So everybody going to be, you know, on edge, man. Everybody. This is going to try the whole earth. Revelation 3 and 10. OK, it's coming to try the whole earth, man. But the only thing that's separating us, you know, those of us that are enduring to the end and praying that we are part of that number from the rest is that we have wisdom, knowledge and stability. OK, that's what's going to keep us stable in these times that's coming. We preparing ourselves for that. OK, we're not getting, you know, carried away with the ways of this world. All right. We're not looking to be conformed to this world. In contrast, we're looking not to be conformed, man. Because we know the wages of sin is death. Romans 6 and 23. And there's nothing but that on the horizon. There's nothing but death on the horizon, man. This place is ready to perish. There's no vision here. What are you going to look forward to? <laughs> you got you to gotta see the writings on the wall, man. This, this current system how it's operating is obsolete man the money has played out everything has played out in this economy man there's nothing left but to go digital the sporting world is played out is bland nobody was paying attention to any of that you know mark no it wasn't a mark it was the draft they got to try to make this thing as spicy and juicy to keep you ninjas occupied, man. They keep you occupied with nonsense and you falling right along with it, man. Oh, this would be the first time that a, a son and father has ever played in the National Basketball Association. You know, of this magnitude, this caliber. You know, in these stories, they doing just that. They keeping Jake dumbed down for the time being. Meanwhile, you know, you got Russia and North Korea that's, ex that's exchanging nuclear missiles, man. Getting they shit together for what's getting ready to come. That third woe. WW3. All right. Hey, man. <laughs> hey.
this is going to show who's been, you know, preparing and getting themselves together, getting their affairs in order, man. This is uh, Jeremiah. Because that was just a glimpse. You know, if you got squeamish looking at that, you ain't going to make it when Jacob's trouble is fully full blown, man. You gonna be, hey, you gonna be part of the first wave that get knocked off the first, you know, glimpse of uh, adversity. This is Jeremiah thirty and verse seven. It says, "At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it." So this day, speaking of Jacob's trouble, you're not gonna be able to compare it when you look back in the, you know, past to to up to now to when it happens. There's never been a day like that or a time like that in history that you can compare it to. Letting you know it's going to be wild out here, man. That what you saw is, is child's play, man. That what you saw is going to be child's play compared to what's actually going to go down. Jeremiah 37, at last... For that day is great, so that none is like it. <clears throat> and that's why this, you know, return, this deliverance from my Lord and Savior, Hawashai, is going to be the talk for centuries, for, you know, generations to come. Okay? Because when Yahawashai delivers his elect, man, hey, it's going to make the exodus from the old Egypt look like you know nothing when we left out of egypt the first time you know it's gonna pale in comparison to when we get delivered out of this spiritual egypt which is america babylon the great when yahweh shot and the chariots and the angels come man because it's gonna be all hell breaking loose and then on top of that you're gonna have missiles coming to destroy this place man it's gonna hey Man, it's going to be a beautiful thing, man. For those of us that are of that that number of the elect, it's going to be a beautiful thing to get delivered out of this place just in the, just in the nick of time. So Jeremiah 30 and 7, At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Right. So it's going to be a time like none other, but you, Jake, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, you have a lifeline to make it up out of here, okay? If you are of the elect, it says, but he shall be saved out of it. Who is he? The elect, okay? Starting with the 144,000, all right? Now, you're going to have, you know, part of the elect, Throughout the other, you know, parts of the earth, but the bulk, the majority of the salvation deliverance is coming out of here, America, Babylon the Great. Okay? And it's gonna be televised, man. It's going to be televised. People are gonna be looking on their smartphones or you know, their tablets or whatever devices that they're gonna use to see this, and they're gonna be like, man, wow. You know. While this place is getting, you know, getting busy, this place is going to be getting that work, man. America is going to be getting that work. We're talking about missiles hitting it, laser beams coming out of the chariots, the so-called UFOs. Man, America going to be, yeah, America going to be getting that work, man. Every place that you can think of, your favorite, you know, restaurant to eat, your favorite theme park, your favorite dining bar. Your favorite sporting venue. All that's going to get work, man. Ain't nothing going to stand. It tells you in 2 Peter 3, you know, that vervin heat is going to be melted elements, buildings, metal, rebar, people, because people are made of element, out of elements. So, hey, it's going to be getting work, man. America going to be getting that crazy work, man. <laughs> America going to be getting that crazy work, man. Hey, you seeing the vision. You just seen a glimpse of how it's going to look. That's That can't even imagine till what's getting ready to come. Jacob's trouble, man. It's going to try the whole earth. It got to get worse 
before it gets better. Esau is adopting that, you know, Montaraj. And, you know, those of us that are in the leg, we know it got to get worse before it get better. We got to get tried, you know, like go through the fire. We got to go through this fire, man. But if we make it out on the other side, we're going to be pure. OK, this is going to try us and to get all of our impurities out of us, man. This is going to show who got the faith and who believes and who don't. OK, we all got to go through it. We none of us is going to make it out of here without being tried. OK, we got to be tried before we get this deliverance. OK. In some way, shape or fashion, we all have to be tried. All right. Jeremiah 16 and verse 14 says, Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that it shall no more be said, Yahweh liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Speaking of, you know, the Egypt that's back when we came out, you know, and when we went in Exodus and before we went into the wilderness, verse, verse 15. But Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. Where is that at? Where they said that, let's go there and read it. Okay, <laughs> let's go there and read it. Hosea. Is it one and ten? It says, yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place, where is the place? We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna find out when we read where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. So they was calling us so-called blacks, African, African-Americans, Negroes, Latinos, Spics, Hispanics. Native Americans, you name it. It says, it was said unto them, ye are not my people. There it should be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power. Right. And now we returning back to our heritage. Okay. Our culture. We call it on the true names of our Lord and Savior. Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. We keep in the law, statute, commandments to the best of our abilities. Okay. This is that new Egypt. That spiritual Egypt that is going to be talked about, that we read in, in Jeremiah the 16th chapter, the 15th verse. It says, But Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. Right. That's here in America. And from all the lands whither he have driven them. Right. Because it's going to be, you know, elect scattered abroad pursuant to the curses in Deuteronomy the 28th chapter the 60 uh 68 verse where we should be scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth so there's elect members scattered throughout the four corners of the earth but the bulk the majority of them you know are here in Babylon the great America it says verse 15 but Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands whither he have driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. And that's where we're going. That's the plan. We going back home. Yasharala. We going back home. We haven't seen our homeland in a long time. Man, ain't you ready to get up out of this, you know? I ain't, I don't want to say it, but this God forsaken country. No vision. The people perish. We ready to get up out of here, man. We ready for this place to be destroyed, man. So we can get, you know, we can get delivered. We can get saved up out of here. If it be the Lord's will, we be that number. So things are going to get a lot worse. What you see is just a glimpse into what's going to actually take place when all hell breaks loose. And these major cities are going to be ran over. Your New Yorks, your Miamis, your Callies, your San Fran, you name it. They all going to be, they, America in, you know, in whole is going to get that crazy work, man. 
and other places surrounded by it, such as Canada and Mexico. But they're not going to get that crazy work. America going to get that crazy work. Canada and Mexico just going to get the work from being associated and being in close proximity along with some of the islands. But as far as America, America is, you know, is scheduled to get that crazy work, man. And they're going to get it. OK, America's going to get it, man. Rightfully so. All right. So that was about it. You know, just seeing that, you know, happened last month, but it's still relevant. OK, because it's not like that's not going to happen in Jacob's trouble. You know, you just see it, man. You can't even man. It's all right. Hey. <laughs> like a day never seen before. You just think one individual is going to be out there. It's going to be a mob of them out there. It's going to be a mob, man. It's going to be the norm. You're talking about the new norm. Okay? And ain't no, you know, ain't no officers coming to your assistance. Okay? <laughs> you may try to team up and try to, you know, f you know, defend as much as you can. But without this truth... It's going to be a failed attempt. Okay. You may somehow get it all the way through. And then the missile is going to come and finish this place off. That's why this place is going to get that crazy work. There ain't no escaping, man. Here it is. You done fought through the lion just to get taken out by the bear. You somehow move through the bear just to get bit by the serpent. Okay. Ain't no escaping. <laughs> and you got individuals that's telling you, you know, the first sign of this place, you know, imploding on itself. Let's get on a boat or a plane and get out of here. You can't escape this judgment. You can't escape the judgment of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You're going to get that work wherever you go at. Eventually, you're going to have to face Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? Whether it's here in America or somewhere else, you're going to have to face our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. You're going to see him. Okay? Every knee and tongue shall bow and confess. All right? It's just America is scheduled to get that crazy work. It's going to get it. It's going to get that work in one hour. Think about how much work got to be put in to take this place down in one hour. That's going to be crazy work, man. So first Peter five and eight, you know, we go to that and we, we, you know, normally close out because, you know, that's just a reminder, you know, and it tells us be sober. Okay. Now it's not the time to start slacking off and, you know, starting to sway left and right and try to, you know, put yourself in other doctrines and other philosophies and other you know, cultures and religions. No, stay grounded. Don't wave from this truth. Don't waver from this truth. So be sober. First Peter five and eight. Be vigilant. Why? Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walk up about seeking whom he may devour. And he's going to trust and believe he's going to cut off all lines of assistance or aid when this place goes down. That number that you use to dial them with three numbers that begins with a nine and ends with a one, that ain't going to be in service, <laughs> okay? That's not going to be in service. Who knows for how long, all right? it's going. He's going to allow this, trust me, this devil is going to allow this place to go get out of control, man. He, gotta, he, he has to. That's what's going to allow people to want to take this mark. See, right now, they know what the mark is and... If you have it up, if it was left up to them, they wouldn't take it. But this devil knows, man, he's going to remove all his amenities, all his services that you're used to. And he's going to let you go out there and fend for yourself for a while. OK. And only after that, will you know and see that without him, you're not going to be able to make it. And we already know you don't believe in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. So he's your only other option. 
he's your only other viable option, okay? And that's why they're going to be coming to him in the droves. And he's going to have it ready. Trust and believe, you know? He's putting the last few pieces of his plan together. He got to make sure he got enough, you know, uh, micro CHIP for the first wave until he can get up and run it and make more and print more or however he's going to manufacture it because it's going to be a, a, a large demand for this, man. You see? That's why you're seeing shortages with the semiconductors and all this, man. This man is getting everything ready. While you out here bull jiving and playing around, seeing what pick that, you know, Brunny is getting ready to get picked and, you know, shift off to the play or, you know, go against his father. Man, this man putting together his plan like a master plan, man. You Jakes, you eating up everything that he put in front of you, okay? Without questioning anything, all right? You got to get your affairs in order. It ain't nothing if you want to watch it, but make sure you, you know, prioritize, man. There shouldn't be anything that's put in front of your salvation. But Esau Edom got you ass backwards, man. He got you worrying about things that don't need to, to keep you from worrying about things you need to. Your salvation, your deliverance, okay? And outside of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, there is no deliverance. There is no salvation, man. This man's kingdom is doomed to fail, okay? It's programmed. He can't go past his days that are bound, all right? And our people don't seem to get that. They don't want to believe that. They think that this man can somehow continue to, you know, outsmart the kingdoms in the past and somehow his kingdom is going to last forever. This, if this was the eternal kingdom, damn, we fucked up, man. Excuse the language, but, you know, damn. This isn't the eternal kingdom, man. This place is complete wicked, all right? This man cannot go past his days. His numbers, his days are already numbered. He can't go past that. He can't go past his bound. But our people somehow believe that he can, that this kingdom will never see the likens of, you know, the great uh, Egyptians or the Grecians or the Greeks, you know, this kingdom somehow is going to, you know, be able to be the kingdom that lasts forever. No, this is the last kingdom before the internal kingdom. OK, so be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. You know, and he's got a he's a hey, he's he already got his allotted portion that he's going to be able to get. OK, the two thirds here in Babylon, the great. All right. So, you know, I pray someone was edified through this lesson, you know, and until the next time, if it be the Lord's will, stay strong, stay in the faith. Hey, we almost home. Shalom. Peace.